Hello and how are you? Welcome to my session on benefits of palliative care. And if you're new here, my name is Winnie Barawa. This is a channel that actually focuses on lectures, lessons and expert interviews tackling healthcare. If that's your area of interest, stay with me and remember to subscribe and click on the notification button. So let's dwell in and see which benefits come along when we focus on palliative care. Palliative care, to understand the benefits first, you need to understand the general goals that palliative care aims at. So first of all, palliative care aims at alleviating symptoms, including side effects of treatment. Note that patients are put on palliative care Partly, they are put also on medication. A part of these medications bring out side effects which come out as symptoms, e.g. anorexia and vomiting. So palliative goal is to ensure that there is alleviating of such symptoms. Palliative care also helps in improving understanding of illness and its progress. As a nurse, as a doctor, you will work together with the family and the other healthcare team to provide health education in regards to the illness and how it's progressing from one stage to the other and preparing this patient in advance for what we call the end of life care. And the third goal of palliative care is identifying and addressing practical and spiritual needs. Spirituality is very uh, individual and personal, but again, it's our role as healthcare providers to identify and address these needs in regards to their beliefs, but at the same time respecting these beliefs even if they clash with the medical treatment that we are giving. So looking more into it is that palliative care will help cope with feelings and changes related to illnesses. Remember part of these illnesses lead to disfigurement, they lead to image change, and with this coming along, some patients have issues to deal with self-esteem. So as a healthcare team, we need to check and cope with these feelings and help our patient overcome. And number five, the goal of palliative care is to assist in understanding treatment option, helping our patient make treatment decision and coordinating the care. So depending on your role, it could be a nurse, a doctor, physiotherapist, it's our role to show the different treatment options that the patient has and helping them make the correct decision that will have a positive outcome. And the last bit is helping patient identify and accessing additional resources to provide support. Yes, in some instances, we may be in the palliative care team at that particular time, but you may not have all the resources at your disposal to adequately take care of this patient. Now, it is the patient right to be helped in identifying and accessing additional resources where they can get adequate support, be it referral resources, be it specialized care and, and so on. So these are key goals that palliative care looks into. And with that, there's now the other bit that we call palliative care approach. So before you start harnessing the benefits, which approaches are key that you need to know? So with the approaches, we look at how does palliative care approach this whole situation? So number one, we are told that palliative care affirms life and regard dying as a normal process. And palliative care does not hasten nor postpone deaths. It only improves on the quality of life. So palliative care provides relief from pain and any other distressing symptoms that could be side effects of drugs. And the uh, other approach is that palliative care aims to put life into the patient days and not just into their life. So the idea is to help the person have a meaningful life, not just to live somehow until their death comes. So it is concerned with the quality of life, or rather it's concerned with ensuring that a patient gets proper quality of life or they gets proper benefits out of their life before they die. And the other bit is that it aims at total care or holistic care. And here we are looking at incorporating physical, social, psychological and the spiritual health. So it employs team approach or what we prior had mentioned to be interdisciplinary approach. Palliative care is individual specific. It depends on the assessment of the patient and the family needs. 
We do not do group management. We do not do general management for all the patients. We provide care based on the individual needs and requirements. And palliative care approaches this from an aspect whereby we shift from high tech to high touch. So we have high touch, low tech, whereby this is more of an emotional connection with your patient, uh, considering their psychosocial needs, emotional needs, and spiritual needs than low tech. This is not the time where you will bombard your patient with issues of um, radiological investigations where you're working with imaging. You want to do so many tests on their bodies. No, this is the time now you focus more on high touch, feel, and, and listen than more on extreme imaging procedures and investigations. However, it's more of a partnership between the patient and the team. And palliative approaches emphasizes on open and sensitive communication, appreciating the feeling that the patient could be having, understanding the space they're in, and openly communicating with them the progress of the disease regarding putting in place that this could be a sensitive topic and you need to discuss this with respect and empathy of your patient feelings. So having understood the goals of palliative care and having understood the approaches that palliative care adopts, so therefore what are the benefits that one can reap from palliative care? So number one, palliative care is known to improve communication between patient caregivers and the healthcare providers. I think this is because of the constant engagement and open communication that has been established as an approach in palliative care. And the second bit as a benefit is that it addresses the needs of caregivers also as they cope with and care for the loved one. So remember, as you're taking care of the palliative patient, you're not supposed to focus just on the patient. You have to focus also on the caregivers to ensure that you address their needs as much as they're taking care of that patient. They also have psychological and social needs that needs to be addressed. And the other bit is palliative care offers psychological and spiritual care for the patient. It explores what is in their mind. It explores what is in their value and belief system. And the other bit is palliative care helps to develop a supportive system to help the patient live as actively as possible. Remember the target of palliative care is to ensure there is quality of life, to ensure the patient has more life to their days than just days to their life. So you want them to enjoy, live adequately and become impactful even in their last days. And the other benefits of palliative care includes improvement of patient and family satisfaction with care because of the close bonding, spending time together, working with this care as a team, just as not like as an individual. So there's more improvement in the family satisfaction. It also enables patients to remain comfortable by ensuring that there is relief of pain and suffering. It promotes bond because it allows patients to maintain connection with their family and friends. Remember, patient can be taken care at home. It can be taken care from a hospital setup. They can be taken care from a hospice. So all these are settings where palliative care can be given. But again, with this environment, it promotes teamwork because family is part of the team. So it allows connection of the family and friends. It also fosters vitality and independence in the patient because palliative care aim is to promote quality of life in the patient. Therefore, the patient feels a sense of importance and so they develop independence in terms of taking care of themselves because they're able to understand the progress of their disease. They're able to appreciate the stage they are in and what is happening to them. And so they can navigate all this and come, to, uh, come out as independent in terms of taking care of themselves. Palliative care is also a system that assists in navigating the healthcare system. This is the stage where families can discover the referral systems. Families can understand the treatment and management guidelines for chronic illnesses. They get to learn more about how the healthcare system works and other channels that are important for provision of healthcare services. 
So it's, an, it's a system that helps the patients also to navigate the, their known health systems themselves. So this is a diagram I found that is a bit uh, summarized when it comes to benefits. And you can look at it in relation to what we've discussed here, that it can help alleviate the symptoms that is in the, system, in the, in the physical parts, provide strength for the body, there's promotion of psychosocial uh, needs, social needs, spiritual needs, helping independence and vitality, ensuring that the patient is able to cater for their desires and also goals. So these are a few benefits that you can summarize on the diagram here. And so thank you so much for staying with us. And if this is your area of content or area of interest, subscribe, share, and also comment. Give us a like. Until we meet again in our next classroom, thank you very much and bye-bye.